Let Garmin get you started with your Garmin DrySmart 55 or 65 and Traffic Navigator. Your Garmin DrySmart device will come with a vehicle suction cup mount, vehicle power cable with traffic antenna, and USB cable. Let's begin by going over the Garmin DrySmart device hardware. The power button is located in the upper right hand corner on the back of the device and is indicated by the power symbol. This is used for powering the device on and off. On the bottom of the device is the USB port, which is used for connecting to a power outlet in the vehicle with the included vehicle power cable. This port is also used for connecting to a computer or AC adapter. Your micro SD card can be inserted into the slot on the bottom of the device. Using a micro SD card will provide additional storage space for maps and other data. The Garmin DrySmart 55 and 65 devices support a micro SD card between 4 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes. Now that we have covered the hardware basics, let's go over mounting and powering the device. Determine where you'd like to mount the device on the windshield. Clean the area with rubbing alcohol and a microfiber cloth. It is your responsibility to ensure the mounting location complies with all applicable laws and ordinances and does not block your view of the road during the safe operation of your vehicle. Press the suction cup to the windshield and flip the lever back toward the windshield to secure it. Then press the mount onto the suction cup ball until it snaps into place. Next, plug the vehicle power cable into the USB port on the device. Then, plug the other end of your vehicle power cable into a power outlet in your vehicle. The device will usually turn on once it is plugged into the vehicle. If the device does not power on, simply press and hold the power button for up to 30 seconds. Check out our video on charging your device linked in this video for more helpful tips. Fit the tab on the top of the mount into the slot on the back of the device. Press the bottom of the mount into the device until it clicks. We are now ready to begin the initial setup of the device. Choose your locale and select OK. Then choose a language and select OK. Read and accept the end user license agreement. You can connect to the Garmin Drive smartphone app to access additional features, including live traffic updates, weather, smart notifications, hands-free calling, and sending locations to your device. Select connect now and follow the on-screen steps to pair your compatible smartphone. Next, you can connect to an available Wi-Fi network Select the network you would like to connect to. If necessary, enter a password and select Done. You will be asked for your consent to Garmin collecting, using, and sharing your device data. Select either Yes or No. Select Email Address and enter your email to register your device. Select Offers and Promotions if you want to receive promotional emails from Garmin. Read and agree to the warning. The initial setup has now been completed. If necessary, go to an open area with clear view of the sky to acquire satellite GPS signals. Next, let's check for available updates to your device. You can use a computer and the Garmin Express software if necessary, but the Wi-Fi option requires fewer steps. To successfully complete a Wi-Fi update, a wireless connection to home high-speed internet is required. It is important to avoid using a mobile hotspot. Check out our Wi-Fi connection video, linked in this video, for tips to ensure your Wi-Fi update is successful. From the main screen, select Settings. Then, select Updates. Your device will automatically search for available map and software updates. A blue download arrow indicates an update is available. A green check mark indicates it is up to date. 
Select Install All to start all available updates. Read and accept the end user license agreement. Read the important installation notes and select Start. If you have not connected your device to a power source, you will now be prompted to do so. Follow the on-screen prompts. These updates will take an extended period of time. You will not be able to use your device during the update. Once the update has finished downloading, wait for the device to restart. Your Garmin DrySmart Navigator is now ready to use. Lastly, let's find a location on your Garmin DrySmart device. The maps loaded in your device contain locations such as restaurants, hotels, auto services, and detailed street information. The Where To menu helps you find your destination by providing several methods to browse, search, and save this information. You can use the search bar to search for locations by entering a category, brand name, address, or city name. In this video, we will search for an address. Then, select Go to begin navigation. You will be given the option to save travel history. Select either yes or no. Your device will start calculating a route and begin speaking directions. In one half mile, turn right on Alton Road. Check out our video on finding, saving, and deleting addresses linked in this video for more help with finding locations. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.